the other ending we shot has uh, Arliss Howard as uh, sort of a guardian angel figure. He appears in the first scene actually in black and white in the diner. If you look closely, he's in and out, and he mysteriously vanishes from the diner, and he's not, he's not killed. He ends up in the jail. You see him once or twice during the movie in the background, and then he comes at the end as, as a uh, guardian angel and guides them out of the uh, prison. They hit the road, they escape, and in this scene, all of a sudden, the forces, the random forces that Mickey and Mallory kicked off with the way they killed people come back to haunt them. There was something, I guess, karmic about it. The idea was that in the 90s, you know, they get away with it. People do. And, in a, and that, of course, aggravated a lot of people who want to see Mickey and Mallory get their just desserts. However, the police don't do it. It would be a psycho. It would be somebody uh, of their own ilk, like uh, Owen. So it's an interesting uh, dilemma, but I do feel that uh, Mickey and Mallory have gone through quite a few changes now in the movie and that they are really moved on the road. They're, they're, they're anti-heroes in the sense that they do go underground now. They fought the media. They destroyed the media. They sound like they're going to go straight right now. On the other hand, you never know. They might come back for more. So keep watching for Natural Born Killers too. So, this is exciting. How'd I do back there? Not bad for a first-timer. I never knew I had it in me, coming as I do from the fire and all. How about you folks? You gonna be able to lie low? Guess we'll have to give it a try. We sure do love each other. Love. You can't beat love. I had a dream about you last night, Mickey. We were standing on this back porch, listening to the thunder and the rain, and the whole sky lit up. I was feeling the warm air from Mexico. Poetry. Mexico. Never been. Yeah, and you ain't going either. We're dropping you next town, Owen. You promised you'd take me with you. Well, I promised, and you came with us. What are we gonna do, spend the rest of our lives together? <laughs> Imagine Owen living with us. <laughs> Coming as I do from the fire. <laughs> That's too bad. I'll tell you what I'd really like, though. I would like a taste of old Mallory over there. Never got with the wild kind before. <laughs> Well, I can't have you talking like that, Owen. But I'm serious. I'd really like to take her for a test drive. What do you say, Mallory? Are you interested? Yes, I'm so interested, Owen. You know what I want? I want you to fuck me so hard. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you don't have to be sarcastic, Mallory. You hurt my feelings and you make me think you don't desire me. All right, that's enough of that bullshit. Um, Owen, I do not appreciate you inducing my wife to talk that way. Mal, put that gun down. Hey, Mal! We always do what he tells you to do. All right, pull over now and you pull over and drop this fucking prick off before I get really mad. All right, Owen. 